was a long hot summer after I got your number. We were driving up and down the coast with the radio playing. We were riding the wave and I held your hand. I didn't wanna let go. Guys, we're going to America. Uh, guys, we're going to America. We're going to America. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Last weekend, we took advantage of the fact that we didn't have any mandatory classes on Monday, and we did a little road trip down to the States. We hit up Seattle, Portland, and Seaside, Oregon, and this is just a little vlog of our time there. Ernest, what's happening? Oh, uh, I have bananas in the car. We have to do all of this, because man's decided to buy bananas before we left. <laughs> Border patrol experience of my life. After that brief little stop at the border, we kept driving down and stopped by Panda Express for a quick lunch before making our way into Seattle. Hi, Luna. Where are Hi. we? We're at Din Tai Fung. Thank you. Thank you. For Can you give me like 30 seconds to think of my strategy? 30 seconds? Fine, 10. There's three options. No, there's three times three people, so there's three minimal times, permutations three But there's three options three that you can choose from, and that's all that matters. Intrinsic. You have to you have to consider other people's I'm like, actions. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Okay, ready? Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Kenzie and Mina show now. We should start a podcast. <laughs> we got so we about to say we got some great conversation going. <laughs> What do you think of Seattle? <laughs> I think it's I think it's a vibe. How do you like Seattle? I have to concur. <laughs> Yeah, you too, Ali. What? You missed out. out. It was, you it was guys incredible. Were gone. Like, you messed it. It was just like we couldn't shut up. <laughs> we, we said so many like, fun things. Intellectual things. Thing. You're in for a treat when you review this. Yeah. We still had four more hours to go to get to our Airbnb, so we quickly stopped by Trader Joe's to get some groceries, and then we hit the road. Good morning. Welcome to day two. We're currently at our hotel in Seaside. Good morning. <laughs> it is 8 a.m. The sun is rising and we're gonna quickly make some breakfast before heading off to Portland for the day. Cooking vlog. Cook. Start. Now. Let's go. <laughs> All right, chef, what's first? Uh, what's first? The first thing is cleaning up the mess I made. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually way easier than a real knife. Look at that. I've never you seen that before. You guys wanna turn the light on? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's so helpful actually. Well, that wasn't my most even job ever, but I promise it'll get better with the next one. Oh, there you go. Okay. 
There it is. Look how distorted our faces are. Okay, does anyone like their bagels not very toasted? Um. Okay. Abby, do you want to flip it? No. I'm It's full of jelly. It's really good. These are cute, but Blue Star is better. Heard it here first. I regret getting this flavor. Really? Why? I know what peanut butter and jelly tastes like. Oh. I don't need a donut to tell me. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, not the boss. Can I try yours? Mm -hmm. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's more crumbly, I think, than in the photo. <laughs> it's going real close. Oh, I didn't know we were taking coordinated bites, guys. Give me some direction. <laughs> For the rest of the morning, we sort of just wandered around the Pearl District. We went to Powell's Bookstore, stopped by Never Coffee to try out their matchas, went shopping at REI, which is like the American version of Mech. I found this really cute pink North Face backpack and it was on clearance, so I had to cop. And I also didn't know this until now, but Oregon doesn't have any tax, so what you see on the price tag is what you actually pay for. Hi. Did you order um, at the bar? Did you order yet? Yeah, Do we you both need paid. I it's called poison me, I think. <laughs> poison me. And it's a tart ale. Potion. It's not poison, it's potion. For sure. And it's, you know, it's poison me. <laughs> Drink me potion. And this is cranberry and lime tart ale. I think honestly. Very tasty. It's really good. <laughs> this is massive. <laughs> <laughs> Portland is a city that doesn't start before 12 or like 1 a.m. Yeah. Like some restaurants don't open until like 3, food trucks don't open until 2. So we were here too early, which is why we thought it was dead. Everything feels slow here, yes. I will say that. Like people are taking awesome. their time. <laughs> yeah. Vibes are off. This is it right I want REI. That's my REI. <laughs> <laughs> Second donut of the day. Mm, blue star is better. I agree. Yeah. Get the meat, the, the vegan orange olive oil donut. It's super unique and very good. Yeah. Better flavor. They're, just, they're not as cool or pretty. Mm. Good night. Good. And how is your Portland experience so far? We spent the rest of our time walking around the city, going to an arcade, grabbing some dinner, and that pretty much wrapped up our time in Portland. Oh
Once we got too cold to stay at the beach for any longer, we decided to explore some shops on Broadway, which is the main street there, and then go to Moe's restaurant for lunch. Since we're right by the ocean, we got some seafood. I got the clam chowder as my side, and then the combination plate had fish, shrimp, and clam strips. It was a bit greasy, but I still enjoyed the meal. Hi guys! Hi. We're doing a, what is it called? Yes, there's a car. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I could have been a bit smoother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> guys, how was that? That was very fun. Yeah, the most fun I've had in a long time. I had a blast. Yeah. <laughs> I got to see the wonders of Seaside. If you yeah. ever find yourself in Seaside, Oregon, I would go recommend. to. Um, we we'll have fun <laughs> and get a surrey. How do you like Seaside right now? I love it here actually. It's on an unexpected sleigh. <laughs> seaside Sun Sleigh. Seaside Sun Sleigh. It's massive. I got the classic roasted oolong milk tea with brown sugar boba. I got the taro <laughs> milk tea with taro boba. Okay, taste us. The raw authentic reaction. <laughs> this is the matcha and sea salt cream with coconut jelly. Pretty good. You will be just fine in the summertime. It is such a crime. We're back at the beach now. We were trying to catch the sunset, but might not wait. <laughs> so instead, we're just chilling on this blanket and oh, <laughs> and playing frisbee, I guess. Emphasis on the I guess. Wait, that was good. So I don't know if you saw it from the footage, but I was trying to catch the frisbee with my head, but unfortunately, the circumference of my head is too large for the frisbee. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I want to try now. Whatever. See, look, it's just me. I have a really big head. Like, <laughs> like the depth is really big. It's like astronomical. Astronomical. Peanut butter cups. Kenzie also got the popcorn and we got booster donut holes. Oh, did yeah. it? <gasps> the sand dollar broke. <laughs> I'm so no. sad. Was it the one that was already broken? No. Oh, it's no. okay. I still have one left. Oh, this is disgusting. This is a beer sticker. gal. <laughs> but it's so cute. Wait, can you show yours? Yay. On our way home, we somehow found ourselves at a Super Bowl watch party, and I know nothing about baseball, so Kenzie and Ernest were trying to explain to me and Mina what was happening, and it was actually a really fun game to watch. Then we headed back to our Airbnb and just cooked our frozen Trader Joe's for dinner. Good morning, I started off the day with a 5k run. Yeah, I surprised myself too. It was an early morning, I ran back down to the beach. I was actually hoping to run on the sand, but you can see how windy it is. So I just made two pit stops along the road to admire the view. Good morning. Good it morning. Is, <laughs> it is Monday, we just stopped for coffee on our way to Seattle. Guess what size is the art? This is a medium. They blended the hell out of this though, so shout out. It's tea. It's tea. <laughs> Mine's pretty good. It's solid Americano. Ice caramel mocha with whipped cream, because why not? Hey, your time. We went to a Thai restaurant for lunch and their food was really good. I might have gotten a spice level too high because I was sweating by the end of this, but afterwards we headed back to the car to grab our stuff before heading to a cafe. We actually still had a synchronous class this day, so we just tuned in over Zoom. And then of course, on the way home, we had to stop by Trader Joe's again. It's time for a haul. Canada doesn't have Trader Joe's, so this time down to the States is my first time ever picking up anything from the store. I've heard so much about it on social media and from friends, so of course I had to pick up some snacks and seasonings to try when I got back. I'm gonna start off with the seasonings. 
Um, at home, all I use is salt, pepper, and soy sauce, so I'm really excited for these. Of course, I had to get the classic everything but the bagel seasoning. I also got some onion salt, a chili and lime seasoning blend, the salmon rub, which I don't even know what's inside, black garlic, and then some spiced honey. Then I picked up a jar of this cookie butter. Um, Ernest really likes it and so does Reddit, so I'm gonna give it a try. And alongside that, I also got the ice cream form and this cold brew and boba coconut non-dairy ice cream as well. I tried this last night and it's actually really good. The pearls inside are chewy and it actually tastes like coffee, like it's not too sweet. Then the other frozen thing that I got was just this cookie. Um, I've never made it at home, so I really wanted to try one of the pre-made packs. Okay, then for snacks, starting off with the number one customer rated snack, these are rolled corn tortilla chips and they're chili and lime flavored. I tried them on the car ride home and I was sort of underwhelmed. They were a bit too like sour slash MSG flavored for me. I, I don't know, I wouldn't really get again. But these on the other hand were delicious. These are the jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. These were also really good. I picked up a second pack. They're the yogurt pretzels. And then I have these two, which I've already tried, as you can tell. These are the crunchy curls. I don't really know how to describe what they taste like. Surprisingly tasty. And this other bag is the white cheddar popcorn. If you ever had a Smart Pop, I think that's what it's called, it's less cheesy than that, and it's more of like a light dusting. Then I have this bag of chips. They're just like kettle cooked chips but I wanted to eat them with this dip it's the caramelized onion dip that reddit was raving over when I was looking up things to buy and then I have these two chocolate things the dark chocolate covered cherries are sort of mid um yeah but these peanut butter cups are really good they're like an elevated Reese's Pieces cup all four of us picked up one of these to bring home and then last but not least I got some spindrift this is the raspberry and lime flavor. To be honest, I'm not even like a sparkling water girl, but Ernest really liked this brand, so I thought I would give it a try, and it's pretty good. I think that's pretty much it, both for the haul and for the video. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all next time, bye.